guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. If you know on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Lust Shards. Oh boy, y'all had quite the response to the first episode. So I wanted to go ahead and continue with uh, continuing here, mainly because this the first episode got so many views. I wanted to make another video on it soon, uh, so soon, really soon after, because I don't have time to make four videos today. So y'all are getting three, and I'm picking the best of the crop. So. Let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Because it is 12, 13 a.m. here, and I need to go to bed soon. That was it. Real help. All right. I started screaming for help at the top of my lungs, but it was not exactly necessary, as my call was immediately answered. Yeah, yeah, I heard you fall. Give me a second. I hear rustling for the next couple of seconds, and a pair of ears appearing and disappearing at the mouth of the hole, presumably checking if I was still there. I had to resist the urge to say a sarcastic comment. Then a thick rope came falling down in the hole, resting on, resting on the wall in front of me. I begin to climb, and soon, I'm out. I take a second to catch my breath, and I raise my head to see my hero. It is only natural I should thank them. Oh, hello there, cutie. Oh my. What even is this? What? No, what is... Is this a shirt? Or is this a vest? Uh, that's, that's the vest, I guess, and that's the weird shirt? Okay, that's... Wow. Tiny shirt. In front of me stands a short and young-looking tuxedo cat with a questionable fashion sense. He's wearing a cropped hoodie with a, what I can only call a DIY outfit underneath, made from the same material that our school uniforms are made of. That's my first example of how unique our school our school outfits can be. I wonder if this is the limit or if there's more. His lithe figure is very accentuated. Considering that his whole stomach is covered is uncovered, I'm surprised the insects didn't make, didn't make him cover up more. But hey, it's a pretty nice view, so I should not be complaining. Um, are you okay? I now realize I've been checking the cat out for a while, and he's starting to give me curious looks. I think it's something fast! Um, you're really cute. Fuck. <laughs> the cat blushes so red that it's visible through the fur. Its tail straightened and his eyes sparkled. I didn't expect that. I didn't hope I didn't I hope I didn't make it weird. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> I'm basically the talk of the crowd around here. So it's not surprising you fell for me already. Oh no, he has an ego. Right. Literally. 17 feet, to be more exact. Anyway, I'm the one that made the hole in the first place, so I suppose we're, e we're even now that I got you out. What? You can't dismiss such a reaction just like that. And, and hit me with that confession, too. He seems unbothered. I just made the courage to compliment him, and he's just standing here. Smiling. What a nice smile. Hmm. He circles around me, checking my body from head to toe. Although you're not too bad yourself. We might just be friends. One could even say that you're a great catch. <laughs> Whoa! A friend already, but is it wise for friends to be friends with a guy that digs deep holes in the road for fun? So, you're new here. Oh, right. Yes, I am. Uh, my name is Travis. Yours? You're in the presence of... He takes a small pause and looks around. Did he... forget his name? Drum rolls, please. Tartarus. Really? His name is fucking Tartarus? Really? <laughs> Alright. Never mind. The pleasure is yours. He gives a polite bow. Really? Yes, really. What? It's a good name. Great, even. I'm not saying it isn't. I was taken aback by the suspense, that's all. I get that a lot, actually. Hmm. I wonder why. Is suspense dead? Maybe I should change to the element of surprise. Just announce it when it is expected the least. Weirdo. Oops, didn't mean to say it out loud. He seems kind of content that I called him that. Must be a compliment for him. After after about a second, his after about a second, his back he's back to his shenanigans, and I swear I can see a twinkle in his eye. Like he finally found his purpose in life. So I suppose you're on your way to the academy. Need some help? The road there is far more dangerous than you think. Yes, please. I'm not necessarily lost, but I could use someone to get me out of the holes if I stumble upon more of your work. Heh. <laughs> ha. Huh. Yeah, that sounds about right. His ears suddenly perk up. Like a realization just hit him. Oh, I just remembered. I'm actually busy. Oh, sorry, gotta go. Bye. See you later. Good luck on your way. Don't let the horny monsters, um... You know, do stuff to you. Tartarus out. Oh, what? You son of a bitch. And just like that, he teleported away. Wait! Why did you even propose to me if you're just... 
Ah, who am I kidding? He's not around anymore. I shouldn't have insulted him. Teleportation, huh? This is very handy. Sure, wish I knew how. To, sure, wish I knew how to do that right now. Well, let's get going. Thankfully, my luggage didn't fall in the hole with me. Keep walking on the path with nothing out of the ordinary happening for once. I see the main gate in the distance, but before I can get closer, I'll need to bypass the barrier. It's like a thin golden light blanket, almost invisible from a distance, but impossible to miss from up close. Let's see, how do I... I try to touch the barrier. As soon as my fingertips touch it, my whole body gets sucked through. It deflects nightfall, but absorbs people. Neat. Oh, okay. At first glance, I thought I might have found the wrong secluded man-made stru man structure in the woods. As this, as this part of the campus looked very much like the streets in a town. I start remembering the videos and photos I've seen online, and it checks out. Walking around, I managed to recognize the cafeteria, some dorms, buildings, and our staff houses. There's even a market that is now mostly empty, of course. Nobody seems to be on the academy's grounds. Hmm, I wonder why. I take my phone out of my pocket and look at the time. Hmm. Hmm? It's almost 1 p.m.? Oh, no, 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 no. We're supposed to, I was supposed to be here by, by 12.30. I gotta find the assembly hall. I start running. Oh, God. Who even has the time to check, in a, check a map in a time like this? I rely on my instincts in the huge castle-like structure in front of me to find the actual academy. I enter through the main door and try to remember the layout. Walking in more and more, I start hearing voices. Those must be the students in the gathering hall. I arrive in front of the long hallway. The voice is quite loud at this point. It seems to be coming from one of the rooms in front of me. Huh, that's weird. I thought the gathering hall would be in a more obvious place. Ooh, maybe it's a portal. I reach for the door as soon as as soon as I thought. As, I reach for the door as soon as I had thought. As soon as I had that thought, I enter the room. The voices stop. The door closes behind me. Great. A another trap. What is this trap simulator? Why do I keep falling for them? Ah. Uh, how did I never get kidnapped as a child? Oh. The room is engulfed in darkness, except for a light coming from a crystal on a pedestal in the middle of the room. I have a feeling that I'm not that I'm not supposed to be here. It's not much of a feeling as it is common sense. I reach for the door thinking it would be locked, but I can't even find a handle. I take out my phone and use the flashlight, but as I suspected, the door was not even there anymore. Don't panic. You can get out of the hole. You can get out of anything. Well, I had some help, but I got out, so I should just be calm. Yes, I can do this. I'm brave. I'm sexy. I'm smart. Nobody can defeat me. Mighty words, kitten. It's been around faster than I ever did my entire life. The second statement isn't totally false. The first and last are proven more and more wrong. I hear a raspy man's voice in an obscure room, and it's not the most soothing experience in the world. Oh, raspy voice. Ugh. Who said that? No response. Get a little closer, so I can see you better. He just wants to build tension. Oh. Oh, okay. Must be a spirit in there. Best choice would be to get closer to the only the only source of light in the room besides my phone. The voice obviously came from the crystal's direction, so as the dumb idiot I am, I do as it says. Maybe it's because of my fascination for magic or my horny or my horny ass loving to do what people order me to. <laughs> Walk around the pedestal, examining it with one eye open, one eye open wide and the other closed, like a cartoon character. Greetings. Yep, that checks out. It spoke. The crystal didn't seem like anything out of the ordinary. It looked like any other power crystal you can find in someone's house. They're usually used for summoning, too. Except that this one was bigger and red, and like the usual green or blue ones. I just can't stop looking at it. I feel drawn towards it, like invisible shackles pulling my hand. That's right. Come. Come on. Touch me. Touch me hard. I know you want to. Touch me hard? What? Are you a thirsty gym? One second, y'all. Water time. My mind goes numb and my hands are both raised at the crystal's level. What if I just... As my hand is about to touch the crystal, a shock of energy zaps my hand away. Ow! Making me come back to my senses. Hmm. Nah. I don't think I should. How do I get out of here now? What? I said, how do I... I heard you! I mean, how are you able to resist my control? You, you're trying to control me? The crystal started to talk, and not, to talk nonsense. I have no idea what you're talking about. I feel nothing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Bullshit! Nobody sets foot in my chamber in fear of being controlled. Yet here you are. How old are you, kid? Wow, you just sound like my... You sound just like my little sister. I'm 19, thank you very much. 19 what? 
eons, millenniums, centuries, years. Ha! Huh. <laughs> I, I can't do that right now. I laugh. I wake people up. Huh. Not even 100 and, can, and can res you can resist my powers. Excellent. You are... usual. So young, so fresh. I chose you well. I like you. Not mutual. <laughs> I can't blame you. It is a strange encounter, I admit. And yet, hearing those words truly hurts. I want to make it mutual, and because you've impressed me, I will lend you a portion of my power in exchange for... Hmm. Let's say... Your body... All you have to do is touch the crystal and say... Resurgery? Resurger... Resurgere? Resurgere... Resurgere? You should feel honored. I'm only offering because I believe you're one of the few who can take me. What do you say? It sounds like an idea. Hold on, I need to change the music back real quick. The what? There we go. Now we can get to business. What should I do? Heck yeah, no questions. I'll need you to be more specific. Hmm, what's in it for me? I just told you. Were you even listening? You lost me at your body. I need more information. Who are you exactly? Pass. What? You can't pass my question. I'm the one in control here. Ugh. Are you a summon? No. Wait. No? Why did you respond to that if you don't want to tell me? Are you a ghost? Are you going to use the process of elimination until you get it right? Yes. So? Huh. No. Are you a nightfallen? No. Demon? Yes. That is very troubling. Demons are just like Nightfallen, except smarter and way more powerful. They're also extremely honest. Not by choice, though. They will quite literally die or at least get injured if they purposely lie, correct? My, my, you flatter me. And indeed, you are correct. Isn't that just so convenient for you? But we can refuse to respond. So I see. And manipulate the truth, so I should be careful. Looks like somebody studied their history. All right, next question. Are you evil? What are you asking? If I accept your offer, will something bad happen to me or anyone else? No, I will not bring harm to any living being. I can't do it even if I wanted to. I'm ashamed to say it, but I will be powerless unless you order otherwise. Unless I order? Yes, I can interact ever so slight with the outside world if you order me to. Small spells, weak attacks, buffs upon your body. Sounds pretty good so far. Now one last thing. What are you doing on school grounds? None of your business. Alright. I turn around and start walking towards the darkness. I have no idea how to get out of here yet. But my bluff worked better than expected. Wait, wait, wait. Please. I... Yes? I'm imprisoned under surveillance because of my dark past. So, someone is watching us. No, there was supposed to be someone on guard duty, but they're not. That is why I want to get out of here as soon as possible. Plus, nobody, plus nobody, especially not someone like you, should be able to enter my chamber. But here you are. It's odd, but I'll risk it. That's why I might sound a little desperate. It might be my only chance. Wouldn't they notice their demon was stolen, whoever is supposed to be guarding you? As long as my gym is still here, there's no reason for them to suspect anything. Nobody risks entering my chamber because, you know, mind control. I understand. Going back, you said you're not evil, so you were imprisoned because of your good deeds and charity work then? I can sense the sarcasm and you are right. I was very much evil in your eyes, but my priorities changed over the years. I just want to get out of here. I'd become a saint if it means I can breathe again. I am eternally suffocating. Can you imagine it? Eternal. Suffolk. All right. Fine. If you're really telling the truth, which I'm still skeptical about, I'll do it. You... Will? Yeah, I need all the help I can get anyway. I'm not the strongest out there. I am mostly got here out of dumb luck. Hell, I would have missed my first day of school if nobody found me in that hole. Maybe even die. Hole? Long story. So, for when I graduate, I'll need help. I cannot go home. I have to be strong no matter what. As I touch the crystal, it starts to get dimmer, and a voice in my head suddenly starts speaking. Oh, man. 
This is already so amazing. Hey, can you take some deep, and I mean deep breaths for me? I find it weird, but I do just that. It's not like it's hurting me. That's the stuff. Hmm. I can see how you meant by you, what you meant by the music earlier. Is this always playing in the back of your head? Pretty much. Fascinating. Now, I'm a demon of my word. Here's how it works. You can call upon me whenever you're in a tough situation and I'll help you out. Now, unfortunately, your body is way too weak to summon me all the time or at full power, so you'll have to choose your word your times carefully. I don't want to be classified as evil because you thought that making me demolish a building for you wouldn't hurt your body that much. Plus, it's in my best interest to keep your body healthy. I can still cast weak spells and do weak attacks from within your body if you order me to. But it's best if we don't do this often. Hoy. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can. Are you listening to me? So you can read my thoughts. Technically. Can you read all my thoughts? Not all of them. No. Just the ones you're not guarding. That's sinister and awesome. Can I see your face now? What? No. What's wrong with you? You can't just ask a demon to show their face. Not so suddenly, at least. Maybe after we get to know each other better? That's an acceptable compromise. Before I forget, there's a little side effect to this whole ordeal. And you're, oh, that's why I'm so tired, y'all. And you're telling me now? Oh, just in time. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. I, I need to go to bed. I'm tired. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.